uh, we all know what has happened in Turkey since 2015. Uh, HDP, led by Salatin Demirtas, became a real national player in, uh, in those elections. And since then, Erdogan and his uh, uh, power machinery has been uh, uh, doing its utmost to undermine it. Um, and undermining HDP is translated into undermining rule of law. So uh, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of uh, political movement, freedom even of physical movement is, uh, is totally neglected. And um, the situation has become a point of almost no return. As PES, we have always been supportive to the HDP uh, leadership. We have always been uh, trying to show physical, uh, concrete solidarity by visiting the country, HDP itself participating in the, attending the trials uh, when it was possible and allowed. Uh, and we will continue to do so. So this resolution is just uh, another step uh, denouncing the, the next step of Erdogan, which is uh, the potential closing of this uh, crucial opposition party. I have to add, and then I would like to invite Ishar to take the floor because it is uh, uh, first and foremost uh, his own uh, task to represent HDP. Uh, but I would like to say that it is very important that finally CHP uh, leadership has uh, stated, understood, recognized, been asking them to do for the partner to, to play with and to restore true democracy in the country. Uh, Ishar, the floor would be yours now. So uh, thank you, Giacomo, for um, um, putting forward this uh, resolution, which I think is very timely. The HDP is definitely in need of a lot of international solidarity as we are going through quite challenging times. Uh, I don't want to uh, give a, a long speech. Just one thing, Erdogan knows, President Erdogan knows that the HDP is the kingmaker uh, in the upcoming presidential elections. And if the HDP sides with the opposition the way we did in uh, 2019, when we defeated uh, Erdogan, President Erdogan and his allies in all uh, local governments uh, in Western parts of Turkey, if the HDP does a similar strategy, which is most likely, then President Erdogan will not be able to stay in power. That is why before the elections, he wants to totally destroy the HDP by shutting it down through the constitutional court, which is mostly under the control of President Erdogan, banning 450 people from politics, including myself and almost every single person in the leading position within the HDP, and also confiscating the properties of the HDP. So this is uh, the kind of plan we think that he will try to this time, in addition to all the arrests and detentions, which did not stop the HDP, now he wants to totally destroy the HDP through the judiciary. And even if the HDP is totally destroyed in that sense, like as an institution, but we are more than a building a couple of offices. I mean, we do represent a very complicated political sociology in Turkey. And as a people, as a movement, we are going to regroup and reposition and keep on the fight. So just one point, the fight we are having in Turkey against authoritarian rule is not, please don't see it as just Kurdish, Turkish people's fight there, given Turkey's central kind of position between Middle East and Europe and even Asia and North Africa, a change in Turkey's uh, political system, a change in the government will have dramatic consequences for the peoples of the Middle East and Europe. So in that sense, please view our struggle as your own struggle. We very much thank for all the support and solidarity that we have received so generously from Party of European Socialists and the Progressive Alliance and many other member parties. We thank all of these. 